Hi everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, you're going to get my signature tips and tricks to help you step your game up to the next level. I'm going to show you how to win more games and have a lot more fun while you're doing it. Uh, this time around, I'm playing on the map Longbow. This is a big team battle. That's a very popular playlist. Uh, I enjoy it quite a bit myself, and so let's jump in here. Longbow uh, kind of continues the rich history of snow maps in Halo. They always throw in a snow map or two. This is a great one. Um, something very soothing about uh, first-person shooters on ice. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, the sniper spawns really close to our, uh, our spawn point here, so I just picked that up right away. And I'd never played this map before, so my instincts were kind of just pulling me towards the high ground, so that's what I do. I've got two long-range weapons, a uh, battle rifle here, as well as a sniper. So uh, the high ground seems like a natural fit, and you can see that the red players are kind of coming up on the left-hand side here, and uh, I've got a great perch here to just kind of pick them off as they come up the hill. They're really very exposed coming up that way, and you can just kind of mow them down as they come up. Um, so this is a really a, a good spot. Uh, one thing that uh, I want to emphasize here is that it's very important to have two weapons that complement one another, right? Uh, like I get a body shot there with the sniper, and I probably could have whipped out my DMR to finish him off with a headshot, conserve some ammunition. Um, so that's why the, the sniper and the DMR or the battle rifle go really well together, because you can kind of tag them with that first body shot with the sniper if you miss the headshot. And they can conserve some ammunition and clean them up with the battle rifle or the DMR. Now here, what I should have done, I made a mistake. I should have used my armor ability, which is the regen field. That would have brought my shields up a lot faster, and I could have gone back out there and finished this guy off. As it is, my teammates did help me out. They cleaned off these guys, kind of got them off my back. And for, I accidentally used the regen shield at that point, although it was pretty useless. Now, as you get more and more experience with maps, you're going to know, uh, you know, how to move around, how you can escape, uh, where the good places are. You'll see right here I get caught with my back to the wall. Um, you know, I got a good sniping position, but once I start getting shot, I try to back up into this little alcove, and unfortunately, I get I hit up against the wall. I can't get around the corner and into the alcove fast enough. So as, as you become more familiar with the maps, remember all the different intricacies of, of all the different ways to get in and out of buildings and around corners and up and down ledges because being able to navigate around maps uh, and doing so naturally and almost subconsciously is really going to help you step up your game and uh, kind of take it to a whole new level. Here I do turn on the regen shields I think to actually do it but that time it's too late it doesn't save my life. Um, another thing that, that I see really uh, beginner players struggle with is that they don't play any defense. Everybody seems to, to know how to play offense and love to play offense even if they don't do it very well. But uh, all the new players seems like they always forget to play some defense. And it's very important because when you think about every time you die, that's handing over points to the other team, right? And you don't want to give the other team very many points. So in fact, you want to minimize that as much as possible. And, um, you know, throughout this game, I think I go like 17 and 5. So that's 17 kills, 5 deaths. That's a really good spread. That's a very healthy spread. That's about 2.5 times. I get about two and a half times as many kills as I do deaths. That's very, very good. Uh, they measure that by what's called a, a kill-death ratio, and everyone who's played Halo in the past probably is very familiar with this ratio, but if you're new, I just wanted to bring it up here for uh, briefly because it's probably the most important thing that you can measure. You know, After the game is over, you go in and you look at all the statistics for all the different players, and uh, the one measure that's the most important is the kill-death ratio, the KD spread. And that's the difference between the number of times you die and the number of times that you kill somebody. And you want that number to be positive. You want to kill more people than you die, right? And that takes practice and experience, but you have to, uh, you know, look at both sides of that equation. One side is the number of kills that you score, but the other side is the number of deaths that you give away. You want to keep that number down as low as possible. All right, so I've made my way all the way over to the other side of the map. Um, it was pretty much a kamikaze move, to be honest, because now I'm kind of in, you know, the rat's nest. I'm <laughs> surrounded by all these red players. But fortunately, I kick their butts and come away with a double kill. Uh, this third guy who's trying to hunt me down, I'm going to take him out too. No problem. So it turned out to be a good decision to come over here. I got three kills, and I'm just kind of picking on them as they spawn over here. But notice I'm all by myself. This is a really precarious situation, and I probably wouldn't recommend it. You want to use teamwork. You want to use team shooting. 
you want to stick together but I think part of it was it's my first time playing this map and I wanted to get a you know I kind of had an exploring bug wanted to get out there and explore the map a little bit find out more you know what was around so that's kind of what I was doing over here the problem is I run out of ammunition that's because there's nobody around me so I run out of ammunition and then you'll see I have to go out and get some and I'm gonna get killed so you know it worked out pretty well this time but uh, I probably would have been smarter to stick close to my teammates because teamwork is absolutely critical in Halo you really can't succeed without it here you see I'm totally out of ammunition I was hoping to pick something up off this guy but I start getting shot so I come around the corner I'm just totally ambushed I'm very very fortunate I knew I was gonna die so I just started lobbing grenades like crazy I do get a stick and a kill from the grave so the whole outing over to the opponent's base actually worked out okay. Uh, could have been better, though. Um, let's see. What else do I want to talk about? Oh, the armor ability. So I'm using the regen shield in this uh, particular game, and I'm actually starting to like that quite a bit. Uh, I kind of have experimented with active camo. Not really crazy about that one. Uh, I've experimented with the jetpack, and it's really quite weak. Uh, much, much weaker than the reach jetpacks, and... I'm not really crazy about the jetpacks anyway. So uh, right now I've been using this uh, regen force and it, it I like it quite a bit. It throws out this little like green glowing uh, mist and it regens your shields very quickly and uh, it seems to work pretty well. Here I use it, I get my shields back up but unfortunately there's like five guys around me. There's pretty much nothing I can do about that. I get taken down. Uh, again, teamwork. Uh, I was out there, a lone wolf, playing by myself, and I paid the price. So it's very important that you stick together with your teammates. So I wanted to ask a poll question today. Uh, what uh, armor ability have you guys uh, really had some success with? Which armor ability do you guys like the best? You know, is it that active camo? Is it the um, the jetpacks, the regen shield, or something else? Right. Let me know what you guys think. And the other poll question, I want to stir up a little bit of conversation here because I've had a lot of people asking me this question. And uh, I'm not sure what the answer is, to tell you the truth. As I pick up a rocket launcher here, somebody uh, threw an ordinance down with a rocket launcher and I was able to just pick it up. Um, you know, what, what, uh, what weapon do you prefer between the DMR and the battle rifle? Because they're both very, very similar. And I've had a lot of players asking me which one I prefer. And I'm still trying to figure that out. I think I'm, I mean, I don't know. I keep, every time I play with one, I think the other one's better. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'll play with the, the DMR, and it seems, I'm like, man, that battle rifle, uh, God, that just seems like it worked better. And then I'll play with the, the, the battle rifle, and I wish I had that DMR. I don't know. So let me know what you think. I know you guys have played with both weapons, so I want to hear what which one that you prefer, uh, battle rifle or DMR. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to cover here? Um... We talked about uh, you know using a balanced strategy, playing both offensive and defensively. Uh, we've talked about the different weapons. And you'll see here I had an ordinance. I've got this ordinance sitting here ready for me to call down at any given moment. The problem was two of those ordinances are weapons, and I've already got a battle rifle and a rocket launcher. And like I said earlier, you want two weapons that complement each other, and that's pretty much what I have right now. You can't ask for a better weapon selection than I already have. Um, and then there's that speed boost that's available, but I didn't really want to use that, so... I just sat there with the ordinance. Probably could have called it down for a teammate or something like that. That would have been a smart move. Well, here I'm going to get double kill to wrap things up for the victory. Again, I had a great kill death spread there. Uh, hope you guys picked up a few tips and tricks along the way. Please answer the poll questions. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Add this video to your favorites. Um, please check out my channel. I have a lot of other fantastic multiplayer gameplay tips and tricks. This is Halo Reach Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.